A sign that you have a true friend is that you can grow separately without growing apart. And it hits home for me because what is a true friend if not another you? Someone who will change with you, grow with you and will fight hardships with you, but nevertheless come out the better for it time and time again. And that you're there for each other. And I feel the same is true for a relationship. The definition of a happy relationship isn't that you're not always the same person. It's that you can grow together without growing apart. And I thought, what a better way to help remind you both to grow together than your own olive tree. <laughs> well, here we are. Here we are, a month ahead of schedule even. You both have held strong and pulled through all the trials and tribulations that have occurred in the past six years. Now together, you complement each other perfectly. You are the power couple and you're the glue that holds us all together. I love you both and I wish you a happily ever after as wife and husband. Linda she as happy and excited as I am about today, reflecting upon our relationship, I realize I've always had full faith, even during our punch-ons, that we'd make it this far. I vividly remember being caught off guard and being told that you needed to be married with two kids by the age of 30 on one of our very first dates. <laughs> the fact that I didn't think you were too crazy and get scared off solidified my commitment towards your goal or somewhat close to your goal. And uh, which on that note, I'm glad we were able to compromise and uh, scale it back to like a much more reasonable marriage for the core 30. <laughs> we barely made it. <laughs> After over six years together, everyone can see that you're still damn annoying and you should still be glad that I'm still standing here after you tore my MCL two months ago. <laughs> Beb, you really don't like publicly displaying any affection, but you show me your love through acts of service, your time and your generosity. When I'm feeling down, you feed me with comfort food. You know I don't spend much on myself, so you buy all the things for me that I wouldn't normally get. You support me by pushing me past my comfort zone so I can be even better as a person. When I go on emotional roller coasters, you come for the ride, but then you also make that roller coaster grind to a stop. That's me telling you that I'm kind of crazy, but you keep me grounded. So I wanted to say thank you for loving me the way you do. You are so dedicated to me and our little fur babies. So honestly, I'm excited to see what the future has in store for us. My dad would be so proud to see us today. That being said, I have thoroughly enjoyed creating a home together in the past five years with you and our fur babies. Even if it does mean vacuuming up an endless amount of hair and fur in random places of our house. Over the years of living together, I realized I really adore your easygoing nature and down-to-earth personality. And the fact that you've been able to tolerate my tendencies to annoy and troll you, <laughs> admittedly mostly on purpose, really is a testament to your patience as well. But in my defense, I did warn you about it earlier. Most of all though, I love that you unabashedly love me. It was frustratingly endearing when you constantly looked for a ring for months on end, when it was just sitting in our bedroom drawer. <laughs> and I was planning to propose to you on the upcoming holiday. So with that, my vows to you are, I vow to keep your stomach well fed and I'll learn to cook better so that we can go old and fat together. I promise to take care of you, to look after you, even when you're unable to move after a night out with Sam or down with the man flu. I vow to cherish us, laugh with you, sometimes at you, cheer you on and make you happy most of the time. I can conquer the world with one hand as long as you're holding the other. So I promise that I will walk through life with you side by side. You know how long I have to wait for you? My whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so now, in this new exciting chapter ahead of us, I pledge to always protect you from harm and catch you when you fall, which for future reference I'll remember includes coming off chairlifts at the snow. 
I vow to always put your needs first, even if it means sacrificing my Dota game time. And uh, I, have to come, I have to come to bed earlier to keep you happy, uh, listen to you snore, sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I vow that you always have a good interest rate on your mortgage. Oh wait. <laughs> Sorry, that, that's the promise that I make to all my clients. So, in, in. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Lastly, I promise to love and cherish you for eternity. And at times, even let you use my credit card. Linda, I love you, and I call upon the persons present here to witness that I take you, Linda. That I, Linda, take you, Yang. To be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded husband.